Hey, what's up guys? Back with another video. And this time we're talking about the predicted performance of the RX 6500 XT. And I used some data from a non-tech and the GTX 1650 review they had to kind of predict the performance before it comes out. So here, this is what AMD claims. They're claiming that for the RX 6500 XT, that it's going to be 24% faster in Back 4 Blood. Call of Duty Vanguard is 33% faster than the 1650 or RX 570. From Resident Evil Village, they're saying it's gonna be 59% faster. Counter-Strike Global Offensive, 32%. Fortnite, 44%. And Overwatch, 27%. So these are the numbers that they're saying on 1080p high and it's up to that much faster. So for the 6500 XT from AMD.com, they're showing that there's gonna be 16 compute units and it's going to have 1,024 stream processors and 64 texture units, and it's gonna have 5.77 teraflops of performance. And then, you know, it's got a max memory of four gigabytes and it's running GDR6, and it's got some Infinity Cache of 16 megabytes. These are the specs of the card. Um, it's a very low-end, entry-level graphics card. And so I made up an equation to predict this. And so to predict the FPS for the RX 6500 XT, I did the total FPS of all of these games. So I added up all the FPS and then I divided it by the six games. So I got 219% faster divided by six games on average. The average um, that AMD says that the card is faster than 1650 is 35% 35, or 36.5% on average. And then for the RX 6500 XT, I think it'll be 40% faster than the GTX 1650 on average. So if we go and after I plugged in my numbers into the equation, I took 57 frames per second in GTA 5 and I made it 40% faster. That's putting the 6500 XT at 79.8 frames per second. It's going to be just slower than a GTX 1660 based on this equation. And it's going to be just faster than a GTX 1060 six gigabyte founders edition uh the interesting thing is that the gtx 16 gtx 1060 six gigabyte founders edition launched at 250 dollars, and the gtx 1660 launched at 219 dollars. so the rx 6500 xt launching at 199 you're pretty much getting 200 dollar performance again and this has not changed for a very long time. So the low end seems to be just keeping the same performance at $200 because the GTX 1660 was 220, this is 200. In the next game, it's pretty much going to be like this all the way through the prediction. And that's pretty interesting to me. So we see here the RX 6500 XT in Total War Hammer 2 at 1920 by 1080 ultra quality. These are the numbers from a non-tech in blue and my prediction is 48.16, which is 40% faster than 34.4 frames per second of the GTX 1650. So it's barely faster than a GTX 1060 and it's, it's just behind the GTX 1660. So faster than a 1060, slower than a 1660. We go to the next game. Middle Earth Shadow of War 1920 by 1080 ultra quality. The RX 6500 XT, 40% faster than a 1650, 56.42 frames per second. And that puts it barely ahead of a GTX 1060, which launched at 250. And then it is behind the GTX 1660. So again, it's behind, it's behind the 1660 by quite a bit and barely faster than a 1060. And then we go here. This is battle, the Battlefield 1 prediction. 
and this is where it gets a little more interesting. So the RX 6500 XT is 93.8 frames per second. So seven frames per se seven frames per second faster than a GTX 1066 gigabyte Founders Edition, and it's almost as fast as a GTX 1660. Uh, to put it to put it at you know lightly at the end, or to put it harshly, I guess I think it's going to be pretty bad performance. I mean, it's it's not even it's not going to even be faster than a GTX 1660 which was a $219 card several years ago. And the GTX 1060 is like a five-year-old video card. So for $200, you're, you're not going to want to get this card if you have a 1060. If you have a 1660, you're not going to want to get this card. And if you have a GTX 1660 Ti, you're not going to want to get this card at all. So... It's a very strange card. I think this card should have been 150, 150, 120. So I think it should have been 120 to 150 dollars. But since people are paying about 400 dollars for a GTX 1660 Ti on eBay, and they're also paying, you know, 400 dollars for a GTX 1070. You know, this is this is what we get, I guess. We get a hundred, hundred twenty, hundred fifty dollar card launching at two hundred bucks. Uh, I don't think I don't think this is going to be a great card because the the numbers, which you know, I gave AMD a better a better equation here because I I'm giving them. A 40% advantage over a GTX 1650, and they are coming up short of the GTX 1660 every time I plug in these numbers into these games. I could be very well wrong, I could be way off, but based on the numbers that AMD gave in their slideshow on CES about this card. I, I think this is this is what to expect and it's not it's not going to be a card for two hundred dollars that most people are gonna wanna get. I think unless you are an owner of a GTX sixteen fifty, maybe it's worth it to get this card at two hundred dollars because that's really what you can afford uh, in the market. So if you have a sixteen fifty, you have a GTX 1050, you have a GTX 1050 Ti or something like that, you might want to get this card. It'll be an upgrade in performance. And if you have a limited money, you know, like let's say you could sell your 1650 for 100, 150, and you get this card and pay 200 MSRP for it, you know, 50 bucks, you get an extra 40%. I think that's worth it. You're basically at that point paying $1.25 per percent performance better so performance per dollar you're you're basically paying nothing in to to, to get 40 percent more performance um, 50 bucks to get 40 percent more performance um, after selling your old hardware that's a really good value proposition then because gpu prices on the used market are very inflated still i i think this is not this is not going to be a, an impressive card. Just down the line, I think it's going to be very underwhelming and everybody's going to say, wow, this is just a, like a 2016, 2017 GTX 1060 performance for 200 bucks and the 1060 launched at $250. I know I'm going. To, I'm hammering the same point probably over a few times over, but yeah, it it does not look good. So there you have it, guys. That's that's it for this video. Like, comment, and subscribe. And uh, I'd I'd like to hear your guys' predictions as well on where you think this card is going to line up. Uh, see ya.